Hello everyone. I welcome you all to this channel called the Supreme Concept. And today is our ninth class, and we have already covered eight classes there. So if you haven't watched uh, the previous tutorials, you can check them out through the playlist named Common Errors from Kiran's Chapter Wise. So let us begin. Question number 121. Actually, we have covered 120 questions in those previous classes. So we will continue with question number 121. And this says, I was thinking if I could do anything to help. So pick out where exactly the error lies in this question. Yes. Yeah. There is no error in this sentence. This sentence is absolutely error-free. I meant nothing less than to compel you to come. So find out where the error lies in this question. Yes, absolutely correct. Error lies in part number three. See here, we cannot place two plus infinitive. After then, we usually use you know gerund, so it will be compelling. Okay, and uh, to compel. Compel means uh, it is you know force someone. For somebody to do something, okay. Question number one hundred twenty-three. Females are not appointed in our college. So find out where the error lies. Yes, yeah. There is no error in this sentence. This is absolutely error-free. Females are not appointed in our college. Is correct. Question number one hundred twenty-four. He has read four plays written by Shakespeare by the end of his vacation. So find out where the error lies. Yeah, yes, absolutely. Error lies in part number one. Instead of has read, uh, we will use he read. Okay. So he read four plays written by Shakespeare by the end of his vacation. So this would be our correct answer because uh, the action took place in the past. Hence, uh, he read four plays in the uh, you know four plays written by Shakespeare will be our correct answer here. 125. The official is angry on the clock for not attending to the work. So find out the error in this sentence. Yes. Yeah, error lies uh, part number two. She, we will use angry with, not angry on. Angry with the clock. Okay, angry with uh, any person. Angry with. Angry with any person. And uh, angry. Angry at or about, angry at or about, at something. Being a rainy day, I could not go out. So find out where the error lies in this sentence. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Error lies in part number one. Instead of simply being, we will use it being. It being. Okay, so it being a rainy day, I could not go out. Is the correct answer here? Actually, uh, you know, it being completes the sentence appropriately. Okay, actually here this is a uh, complex sentence. We uh, combine two sentences here, so it should have a common subject. Okay, so let us move. Question number one hundred and twenty-seven. He is capable to do this work within the stipulated period. So find out where the error lies in this sentence. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Error lies in part number two. Instead of capable to do uh, this work, we will use uh, capable of doing. Capable of. Okay. Doing this work. 
because capable agrees with the of capable actually agrees with up of proposition capable of okay and uh, then it will follow gerund there is verb plus ing i will send my servant but i cannot ensure that uh, he will reach there in time so spot the error in this sentence yes absolutely error lies in part number 2 instead of ensure we will use assure it is a s s u r e assure which is you know to being sure about something sure about something and uh, ensure your ensure means it is uh, you know used for guaranteeing persons against uh, risk g u a r n t e e i n g yes guaranteeing persons against against a risk life insurance i uh, know life insurance is a example of this the lawyer asked the complainant to put his sign on the paper so find out the correct answer in this question yes arise in part number 2 instead of sign we will use uh, signature noun form of it okay and uh, sign only sign so uh, you know sign is uh, an indication only sign means it is an indication so we will use signature here when you have gone through papers kindly return them to us so find out where the error lies in this sentence yes yeah there is no error in this sentence this uh, sentence is absolutely error free 131 you could be better off these days and uh, this enables you to have little more fun so find out where the error lies in the sentence yes yeah error lies in part number 1 c instead of uh, could be better of we will use uh, are better of are better of c actually this better of one second yeah so this better of is actually used for saying that somebody is could be happier or more satisfied if he was in a particular position says that you no know, uh, somebody would be happier appear uh, if he was in a particular position so error lies in part number 2 and it would be are better off in that wholesale shop they do not sell fewer than 10 bags of rice so find out where exactly the error lies in the sentence yes yeah error lies in part number 3 instead of fewer we will use less less is used to with uncountable nouns okay used to be with uncountable nouns and less means you know uh, it means a smaller amount of something a small or a smaller amount of you know something 
in less time you know less uh, importance like this and fear fear is actually used to be the plural f e w e r it is used to be the plural nouns and plural uh, nouns means it shows that it is used to be the countable nouns okay so we will use less the period between 1980 to 1990 was very significant in my life so find out where the error lies in this sentence yes error lies in part number 2 you are correct so it would be uh, the period from okay from 1980 to 1990 otherwise we can use between between and where here okay either we can use between 1980 to 1990 or we can use from 1980 to or uh, 1990 okay from to or between and these are the correct pairs he is not the fastest bowler in the indian team isn't he so find out where the error lies in this sentence yes absolutely error lies in part number 3 so we will uh, use a positive statement in the question tag it should be easy okay one second yeah easy with a question mark right in a uh, question tag there are two kinds of sentences you know uh, two kind kinds of phrases one is your affirmative another one is your imperative so the imperative part that is the questioning part if the questioning part contains negative then that uh, other part that is the affirmative part will contain what uh, yeah if one part is negative then another part should be positive okay so here uh, the affirmative part is negative then the uh, you know imperative part the questioning part will be positive here so he is not the fastest bowler in the indian team we are saying that he is not the fastest bowler that is why we will con- uh, questioning Uh, we will be questioning like that uh, easy easy okay so easy would be our correct answer here we cannot use negative twice 135 i went into the bank and uh, withdrew some money so find out where the error lies in this sentence yes yeah error lies in part number 1 instead of into we will use to okay i went to the bank and withdrew uh some money okay two actually indicates see two indicates indicates in a direction in a direction okay so we will use in, in two here and the into preposition into preposition indicates that indicates A position inside something. So we will use two in this case. That was it for today's lesson, guys. And thank you so much for watching this video. Please hit the like button and share it with your friends. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you can be notified. whenever i upload a new video thank you all see you in our next tutorials bye bye